Well, we've got a tasty sounding strain to check out together today, team. Given to us by the guys at OGK Shug, we have some sticky papaya to check out. And like, I love when cannabis is named after fruit, because it always makes me cross my fingers and hope I'm going to get those fruity terps. Let's figure it out together very soon. But first, we need to take a closer look at this sticky papaya and see what it looks like. So let me give you guys a close up. There it is. And look at that beautiful, bright green color on this flower super super frosty i it rarely come across cannabis that looks like almost snowed on it is so frosty now the frostiness isn't trichomes trichomes are those shiny glistening heads that we see so this frostiness doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna have a high thc percentage but it does look absolutely stunning. Like I said, like a mid, light, bright green color. Almost no orange hairs. And the ones that are there are very subtle. Cool to see that. Does have a few leaves that I wouldn't mind if they were taken off. But a nice, compact, dense nug. Still has some stickiness, which we like to see because it is called sticky papaya. Overall, not the biggest nugs in the world. The biggest nug I got was about 0.7 of a gram, but looks absolutely stunning. Super frosty, nice colors, nice bud structure. So let me grab a nug out of here that we could break in half so we could see what this bad boy smells like. Because I could only hope I'm going to get some papaya fruity terps, but I don't know till we figure I don't know till we figure it out together. So let me grab this nug right here and we'll break it on in half. Beautiful snap. That's the inside of our sticky papaya. So let me give it a whiff. Yes. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted. We got what I wanted. I'm always so disappointed when they name cannabis after something cool and then you smell it and you're like, why the heck did you name it this? This makes no sense. This bad boy, I could see why they called it sticky papaya. It's not the stickiest flower in the world, probably just because it took a few extra days to get to me. We got this winter weather going on, sucking all the moisture out of everything. So not the stickiest flower in the world, but definitely has those fruity terps, and that gets me very excited, team. I hope it comes across on the smoke. So far, beautiful, snowed on looking cannabis. Really, really stunning bag appeal on this stuff. Nice, compact, mature. Now that it's ground up, let me give it a whiff. Oh. It smells like, like a tropical fruity drink, like a fruit punch, fruité. Mm. Oh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful fruity terps. Oh, I'm very excited about this one, team. I've been trying a lot of gas lately, and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love gas. But gas usually comes with a pretty heavy sedating body buzz. And, I mean, that's not always what I'm looking for. Especially right now, I'm doing this video first thing in the morning right as I get up. So I don't really want gas first thing in the morning. Some nice fruity terps to start the day makes me feel nice and healthy. So, I mean, maybe I can skip my smoothie drink this morning. I probably won't. Maybe I'll just get, like, two shots of fruits this morning we'll get our sticky papaya terps and then we'll get our nice smoothie terps afterwards so let's just roll this bad boy up i'm actually rolling this one a little differently you'll notice very soon what i do differently because i'm trying something and pretty much the gist of it is i'm trying backwards joints so that i have the least amount of paper and the most amount of cannabis just so that I could let those terps kind of come through. So what I do 
is pretty much just put the backwards, put the backwards, put the paper backwards, just like that, and then we lick the outside. There we go. Stick it a little bit, make sure it sticks. And there we have it, that's our joint. And all this extra paper here, you see all that kind of floating on the side? That's all unnecessary paper. That's not stuff we need to smoke. So let's burn it on off. So that all we have is one small layer of paper and our beautiful sticky papaya cannabis given to us by the team at OGK Shug. So let's just pack this bad boy up, give it a quick dry hit. Those terps, beautiful, like it's just fruity terps. There is no other way to describe it. I wish I had a papaya right next to me. Without having a papaya next to me, I think I'd say, like, I'm getting mango. Almost like apple mango terps. Whatever fruit it is, it's freaking nice, team. I hope it smokes just as nice as it tastes. Let's check it out right now. Cheers. I was worried for a little bit that because of those few extra leaves, I might get a kind of green tasting cannabis. Not green in the slightest. I'm getting those beautiful, strong, fruity terps. Mm. Thick smoke. Tons of flavor. Absolutely love it does have a slight bit of something going on in the smoke. <clears throat> I wouldn't necessarily call it, I don't even know how to describe it. It's smooth on the inhale and it's smooth on the exhale. It's right when I hold it in for that half a second that I get a little bit of something going on. A little bit of, I don't even know. I can't really describe it, I'm having a hard time here. There's definitely something going on in the smoke that affects the smoking experience, but I can't necessarily call it a just an upright scratchiness because it definitely doesn't make me want to cough. I'm definitely not getting headache or anything. I can't quite figure out almost like it tingles my nostrils right at the end of the inhale and the beginning of the exhale I get a little bit of like a nostril tingle so I don't know what the heck is causing that I don't know what the heck is the reason for that but definitely gonna have to take off a few points just cuz I want butter smooth I want to barely notice that I'm smoking and there is a little bit of something kind of reminding me that I'm smoking that being said though Very nice buzz on this stuff. Usually when I get fruity terps, I know I'm going to get a little bit of cerebral. And I'm definitely getting some heady buzz going on. Getting a little bit of relaxation in the body. But mostly it's going to be in the head. Kind of making my eyes a little bit lower. I wouldn't necessarily say energetic. It doesn't really get me wanting to run out and go and do things. But definitely not going to be something that's going to put me to sleep and cancel all my plans. Which is perfect because it's the beginning of the day right now and I got some shit to do. Mm. 
Really nice turps though. We're halfway through the joint and they're still coming across exactly like they did on the smell, exactly like they did when I ground it up, exactly like they did on the dry hit. So love the consistency, the buzz, the thick smoke, the beautiful looking bud. Really the only negative is going to be the slight slight little bit of something going on with the smoke the little bit of tingle which is really a shame because the buzz i'm really a fan of this buzz i'm really a fan of heady dominant hybrid buzzes for the day just because i could still do stuff but i'm definitely feeling high no mistaking it in the slightest just this kind of scrambling my brain feeling Really, really pleasant on this sticky papaya. I guess it could also be a little bit stickier, but again, I blame that on Canada Post, and I blame that on our cold winter weather here in Canada, so can't necessarily take off too many points for that. But I guess I wouldn't mind a little bit cleaner, a little bit tighter of a trim job. But the main thing is going to be the smoking experience. I want just to be kind of dialed in a little bit on the smoke. But overall, beautiful looking cannabis. Beautiful, strong, fruity terps. Nice buzz that just scrambles my brain up completely and still leaves a little room for relaxation in the body. I think we're going to give this bad boy... What are we going to do with Sticky Petal? Because like I got to take off at least a point for the scratchiness and the smoke and maybe half a point for the trim job. But the terps and the buzz are so nice. Like, I'm arguing between eight and a half and nine. I think I'm going to go eight and a half. Even though I really love the terps and I really love the buzz, I want to leave them some room for improvement, for dialing it in. and Because I think this bad boy definitely can get to the nine and a half, nine, seven, five range. Just because the terps and the buzz are so nice. If we're able to dial this bad boy in, if OGK Shug is able to dial this bad boy in, this is definitely going to reach the nines very soon. Hopefully I get a chance to try the next batch. Because this batch of sticky papaya definitely is going to be deserving of the eight and a half. Beautiful flower. Very stoked I brought it out this morning. Because now I get to enjoy this sticky papaya buzz this morning. So that's been today's episode of Canadian Cannabis. Checking out OGK Shug's Sticky Papaya. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you next time. And as always, peace and love, team. Cheers.